morning everybody so we're going to do today to the simple life bus is this front wall i'm going to i got a piece of indoor outdoor carpet from uh lowe's this morning and we're going to double it over we're going to get it mounted up against this front wall make it look a little bit better and uh hopefully stop some of that diesel engine noise coming through that front wall if y'all have ever ridden in a school bus and i'm sure everybody has at one time or another you know these things are noisy so we're trying to suppress some of this noise and uh, I'll show y'all the carpet and it should match the alligator dash pretty well it's almost the same color so it's just this indoor outdoor carpet six by eight rug got way more than I need so uh, we may use some of this somewhere else in the bus but uh Let's start getting this thing measured out, cut, and uh, we'll show you how we're going to put this thing in place today. Alright, we're going to get this little box taken out of here. Set this aside. Let's see what we got for measurements here. So we're going to cut it 56 by 36 so we can double it over on the height and make it twice as thick to block out some of that noise. So uh, let's go around to the carpet and get that cut. Alright, so we're going to do 56 by 36. Go grab my tape measure. There we go. And all we're going to do is fold this back on itself. Here we're going to heat up a hot glue gun. 
could use silicone, things like that, but the great thing about a hot glue gun, it really likes grabbing this type of material. And if I put a block right there, I mash it down, it's instantly hard and instantly cool almost. So you don't have to drying time like you do silicone. So we got the hot glue gun heated up and we'll be right back. All right, that thing's just about warm. So we're going to make a crease in this. So we know where to run our first glue bead line. We're going to run a carpenter's pencil right up to that crease. Hold the carpet with your hand. And just draw a line down. I can see that, but I doubt y'all can see that on the camera. But that will give me a guide for my first glue line. Start from the inside and work our way back. Pull back this other half. I'm going to do the same thing. Carver's got a bad curl to it. All right, we'll wait on this first side to set up. When it does, we'll start working the rest of the carpet. And since this has to uh, be cut into place with angles and going around the brake and the fuel pedal, what we're going to do is just take a few dabs just to hold it in place on the outer edge. After we get it all cut into place, then we'll go back and we'll glue the entire shape around the edges. So this will hold it together in place while we cut it. Always like buttons. cool off a minute and uh, we'll go get set up in the bus and get this thing marked out and get it ready to cut into place but uh, as you can see now I'm double layered basically into one piece and by the time we get done with this it will be one piece and uh, hopefully we'll act as a good piece of insulation and noise blocker so we'll find out after we crank the bus all right we got the carpet up here I kind of freehand a lot of stuff, so that's probably how I'm going to do this this morning. So, uh, just to bear with me, and we'll see how this comes out. We know we have to cut this far left end on an angle, and we got to get around all this gear. So, I'm just going to take it down past this pedal in one single line, and then we'll trim from there. That'll let me move this up to see the depth. And we'll still have to go a little deeper. So uh, I'm going to get this cut into shape and uh, see how that's already fitting in place. Cut these a little deeper. 
trim that out, trim that corner, and we'll be right back after we get it all set into place. I think that's going to match that alligator dash pretty well. All right, we got all that cut in, so it's just fitting in loosely now, as you can see. So uh, what we're going to do is bring that hot glue gun up here. We'll actually we'll take this carpet back to the back deck. We'll get all the edges done and sealed together so it doesn't want to unfold of itself. And uh, we'll start mounting this thing in place. Now that sure does cover up that front wall a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner. The carpet's not obstructing anything. The wiring, none of the brake, none of the fuel. So I think we're going to be good to go. The biggest thing is, is you don't want this rug to be able to catch on any moving parts. So you don't have anything with interference in the future. You don't want any wire touching it just in case something shorts out, start a fire. Just try and be safe, you know. But that's going to look a whole lot better. So we'll get this thing glued together, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we're just about to finish up this carpet. The way I'm doing is go inside. About every two inches, I'm putting a nice wad of hot glue so it's even connected into the uh, middle of the carpet. So that way the whole thing will be nice and rigid when it's done. I'm going to come along the seams. I tighten up this seam right to the last section I did. And you do need to take your time a little bit with this between each section. Maybe wait a minute or so, let that glue cool off. So that way you don't spread it back apart. And then you just have to re glue again. I'll finish this up and we'll go back up to the front of the bus and uh, get it in place. Alright, as you can see, doubling it up made it semi rigid. So uh, we're just going to slide this bad boy up in place and then we'll start getting it set in place. Uh, I might hot glue it into place since I got this rubberized backing already in the bus. But I also might use a uh, tar string. Or silicone undecided yet but what a perfect fit that worked out great make sure nothing's hanging up underneath the pedals or the wiring clear on all counts that's really good all right so that's how we put on our carpeting we had that whole indoor outdoor roll for 20 bucks and maybe use a third of it. So, if this works, it's going to cost me about seven bucks. If it don't knock out the noise, at least it made it look a whole lot better for seven bucks. And like I say, we'll figure out where to use the rest of that carpet so nothing goes to waste. Yeah, that's the whole thing about Simple Life. Keep it simple and don't waste anything. If I already had carpet, I'd be doing the same old thing I preach all the time about recycle, reuse, and repurpose. But uh, this is going to look pretty nice. Let me get a little closer up shot for you guys that's a big difference compared to the way the wall looked before isn't it that's gonna look pretty nice all right let me get this thing put in place and we'll do one fast last little wrap up on this and we'll be done well of course it is a diesel so you're always going to have quite a bit of noise but it does seem that it helped a little bit Nothing else is going to add insulation against that back wall, knock out a little bit of noise. I might carpet this floor, suck up a little bit of noise. If I did something to the ceiling, it would also help stop that echoing up the extra noise. But nothing else turned out really nice looking, cleaned up the whole section. So, uh, let me see how much carpet we got left and see if I got enough to run this whole floor right here. We may just do that. But, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Simple Life. Please like, sub, and share. Y'all have a great day.